Hello everyone, this is Silvana Badura Flores with Family First Life Veritas. And today what we're gonna do is, well, number one, we're gonna subscribe to this YouTube channel. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about annuities. What are annuities? What are the benefits? Different kind of annuities? And just basics about retirement that people typically don't consider and some, even some financial advisors do not consider. So let's start there. What is an annuity? An annuity, it's a lifetime stream of income. Just see or look at it as social security. It will stay in place forever. Regardless if you live too long, the funds will never go away. Okay, so like I said, there are different kind of annuities, so let's break it down a little bit more. Uh, we have variable annuities, the, the, the gains or losses, they're tied up to the stock market, um, to stock, mutual funds. Uh, they were super popular multiple, multiple, many, many, many years ago. I personally uh, don't, don't, don't do variable annuities. Uh, then we have fixed annuities. What that means, there is a fixed interest credited to the account every single year. It could be 1.8%, it could be 2%, it can be 3%. Um, the downturn of that, to be honest, is if you are having a fixed interest of 1.8%, uh, well, there are two topics there. If uh, the indices go up 30%, well, you will only get 1.8%. The other point that I like pointing out about um, fixed annuities is that if the interest, the inflation right now, is for example, 5% and your fixed interest is 1.8, well, you have a negative return of investment, right? Because you're only making 1.8% when in reality you need to make at least 5% inflation rate to stay or to for your money to worth the same amount. Then my specialty are fixed index annuities. Okay, so they are moderate risk and uh, the monies that the funds uh, go according to different indices. Okay, there are different kind of allocations, different companies operate differently. My particular favorite, uh, not to be um, to play a part or play with one team is this guy here. I like them because um, I think provides with multiple allocation strategies, different different indices. And what I like the most is that there are no caps for the most part um, in the strategies. But we're just getting ahead here a little bit. What, uh, let, let, let's go back and let's uh, start talking about retirement, okay? And comparing them to what an annuity can do for you. So go ahead, if you have a, an employer sponsor retirement plan, so pretty much if you have a 401k or an IRA, you're currently contributing, or if you have an old one that is just sitting there, please pause this video and go and grab a statement. So we just can compare and I can help you a little bit look at your statement even though I'm not sitting with you. The first thing that I like talking about when I sit down with clients, just the basics before we go into the complexity of an annuity, is the concept of average gain versus actual gain. Okay, let's let's imagine, let's do, let's use an analogy so it becomes clear. Let's forget about a statement, annuities, 401k. Just imagine you have a bank account and you start that bank account with $100, okay? So in the first year, that account is gonna have gains of 10%. So if you have $100 and you gain 10%, now your new balance will be $110, right? The 10% of 100 is 10. So uh, year number two, you start your account with a positive balance of 10, right? $110. Now 
Now that tech near working a loose uh, 10% because you know, that's how the stock market uh, works. So this second year, you're not going to lose $10 because your new balance is $110. You're going to lose $11, right? So at the end of that second year, after you lose another 10%, 10% of $110, it's $11, right? So in reality, right now, at the end of the second year, you no longer have $110. You no longer have your original balance of $100 you have $99. Let's just stop there. So, uh, first year we gained 10%, the second year we lost 10%. Simple math says that the average gain or loss, it's zero, right? Plus 10, minus 10. Average return of 0%. Why does your account, has, why does your account have $99? when you started it at 100. And they say that there was zero return. Well, because that's the concept of actual return. The actual return is minus one because you lost money. So if you're looking at your statement, I hope this was clear. I was trying to make it super simple and not complicated. So if you're looking at your statement of a 401k, an IRA, any statements really, you will see the concept of average return. Average, average, average. But the actual, the actual return is really difficult uh, to, to show. Because like if you remember 2008, there was a gigantic loss, right? So they're not counting that when it comes to the average return that you're looking at right now in your statement. So that was the first kind of mind boggling tip of the day there. What is the second, the second one that for the most part, most people oversee or misunderstand when it comes to statements? The second one that I love talking about is the concept of realized gains versus unrealized gains. So what is that? Again, let's use uh, just an analogy. I have stocks. I love stocks. I am only 38 years of age, so I, uh, if nothing happens to me, I have multiple, multiple years to ride a wave of the stock market and eventually come gaining something, right? So let's imagine we have Apple shares right now. So let's pretend 10 years ago, I bought one share or, okay, one share of Apple and that cost me $100, right? I held on to that uh, share, that one share for these past 10 years. Today, that share does not cost $100 anymore. Uh, it is worth $1,000, right? So how much money do I really have? Do you dare to guess? Well, you have zero, zero money, because that is intangible. It is the worth of the stock or the share itself. If I don't sell that one share that I have, I don't have the money, right? So in the statement that you have, you have an unrealized gain because you don't have the money, right? So uh, now we're gonna see a statement uh, from a fixed index annuity. It's a little bit dated. I particularly use that for specific reasons, but let me open my statement here. And we're gonna see the concept of a realized gain. What is a realized gain? Uh, something that materializes, real thing, some money that comes into the account, okay? So if we look at the statement, we're gonna see that uh, it's all redacted, there's no account numbers, there's no names here, uh, just dates probably what kind of product was uh, done at that point in time. But in that second, in that first line, we can see that the accumulated value as of whatever date, it is 25,901 and a couple cents. That was at uh, the beginning of the statement, right? So the second line talks about total interest credited. Okay, and we can see the figure of 4,137 and a couple cents. Okay, that $4,100 there, 
That is a realized gain. That's real money that came into the account. That money will never be lost regardless of market loss, market gains. That money already has been capitalized in this account. It's real money. So at the end of that one year, the account started at almost $26,000 and we're finishing the year with almost $30,000 in reality is $29,793. That is an easy concept again to, to see the different uh, simple concept or simple things that people just don't uh, don't pay attention to and it's really important for everyone if you are not licensed or if you are licensed for you to start understanding the power um, of paying attention number one in order to understand annuities better okay so how can what is the other benefit of a fixed index annuity that is my specialty so i'm gonna just talk about fixed index annuities and moving forward well the great thing about fixed index annuities is that there's no loss let's think about 2008 how much money if you're alive i'm not sure how old you are but back then if you let, let's say you already were in the in the workforce and you have your 401k and you've been working really hard and all of a sudden you collected about a hundred thousand dollars and then all of a sudden there was a downturn in the market remember the housing bubble um so at the end of 2008 2009 uh, there was a loss of average 38 percent okay so out of your hundred thousand dollars that you work years and years and years and years to collect and in one year she lose over 30 percent so you no longer have a hundred thousand if there was for example less of 30 percent well you just lost thirty thousand dollars which is the great thing about a fixed index annuity if that were ever to happen again well you're not participating in those losses because that is the great thing about a fixed index annuity is the protection against a downside market. Simple terms, you're not losing money, okay? The great thing about it, you're just participating in the gains. Let me break it down to be clear and honest and, and just honest with you guys so we all understand. I'm not saying if the market gains 10%, I'm not saying your account, your fixed index annuity account will gain 10%, okay? How does an annuity uh, can guarantee certain things? Because out of that 10%, they will give you credit, okay? A 5%, 8%, or certain strategies that once you start doing um, annuities, uh, fixed index annuities for certain companies, the great thing about it is that you can buy more options, okay? So instead of participating only 80%, you can participate 150%. We're getting ahead, just the concept, but let's say out of uh, a gain of 10%, you'll get credited seven, eight percent okay? Which in turn guarantees that you will never lose any money. Okay, that's the great thing about so just think about uh, the stock market you know the ups and downs and up and downs okay we are not doing that we're just growing our fixed index annuity our IRA our traditional IRA like steps on stairs so it goes up and when the market takes a toll and goes down we just stay flat and then with our gains we go up again and then when it takes a toll we just stay flat so imagine just the steps in the stairs, uh, and that's how a fixed index annuity grew. Now, in many years of experience, I was um, I was blessed. I was I had the opportunity of uh, looked at a lot a lot of statements, not only traditional IRAs, IRAs, SEP IRAs, 401ks, 457s, 403bs, etc., etc., etc. Also, a lot of statements uh, for different companies that do different kind of annuities. Okay, so it's really interesting in comparing uh, what uh, what different companies do um, when it comes to fix, fixed index annuities. Okay, my favorite, my personal favorite here, it is Athene. 
uh, the important thing um, here is the client okay so you guys if you're licensed and if you do um, if you do annuities please follow me subscribe to the channel we're gonna be talking a lot about annuities uh, I personally love them first love 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 them um, Write your questions here in the comments so, so in the next video we can we can discuss a little bit more about that. Uh, but we're gonna take a small steps so we don't get all confused and all like have a headache with, uh, with annuities. So we're gonna start simple and we're gonna use a lot of analogies uh, to understand uh, the complexity of them. Okay, so let's let's recap a little bit. Annuities will guarantee a, a lifetime income. It's a lifetime stream of income, similar to Social Security. Of course, it operates different. Okay. What are the benefits of an annuity? Well, you would never outlive your money. Um, in a 401k, if you have, let's say, $100,000 and um, you know, requiring minimum distributions, you just took a toll on the market and your account runs out of money, you no longer have retirement. What uh, a fixed index annuity will do, it uh, guarantee a lifetime income for you. So please reach out to me. Uh, there, are, there are gonna be a sequence of uh, videos here that we're gonna start discussing specific scenarios. I would love to have your questions uh, so we can go over them and little by little learn about annuities. Uh, one of my big recommendations is go ahead and get a book on Amazon. It's, the, it's called The Seven Benefits of FIAs. It's written by Sean Ruggiero. It's a fantastic book to easily understand annuities and uh, fixed index annuities. And again, please right here, follow me, um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I'll be happy to help you. Until next time.